Well, a coronavirus patient from Utah has been released from the hospital. Fox 13's Aaron Cox joins us live from Intermountain Medical Center to explain why that patient was released. Aaron. That's right, Mark Jorgensen left the Intermountain Medical Care Center here last night around midnight, and he's still testing positive for COVID-19. But his doctors say there is no risk he could transmit that disease to others. Yeah, I've got a special guest with me, I'm, and to have this guest in, I've got to put a mask on first. It's the first time in at least a month, Mark. Come on in, special guest. Okay, <laughs> yay! Hi. It's my lovely wife, Jerry. And Jerry Jorgensen are home together, even if they have to stay six feet apart. We just kind of hi and wave from a distance wearing masks, and you know, we just wanted to hug each other so bad. And Jerry had tested positive and showed symptoms for COVID-19 while the couple was on the Diamond Princess cruise in Japan. Mark was sent to California where he was quarantined. Then here to Utah. From the moment he touched ground in Utah, everybody who came into contact with him was wearing appropriate personal protective equipment that prevents them from even being exposed to the disease. So Testing positive, yet showing no signs of symptoms. Doctors decided it was okay for Mark to finally go home. He's been isolated for a month or longer. That takes a toll on you mentally, so it's good that he can go home to his family. It also frees up hospital resources for those who actually need them for the flu or other illnesses, not COVID-19. Our ICU beds are full to capacity because it is respiratory virus season and those who are really vulnerable need those beds to get the care they need. Mark says he is under court ordered quarantine, but he's grateful to be reunited with his sweetheart. I'm not a danger to the community and that, that Jerry's not a threat to the community either. Well, Jorgens, it says they are waiting for three test results to come back. They are a throat and a nose swab, and they have to come back negative 24 hours apart from each other, and both of them have to be negative. Live in Murray, Aaron Cox, Fox 13 News, Utah.